Welcome back to Tech Radar. My name is Matt Phillips. I'm joined today by our phones writer, Tom Bedford. How are you doing, Tom? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very well indeed, Tom, because Motorola have announced some new budget-friendly phones. Tell us all about them. What's going on? That is correct. We have got two new phones at the moment. These are the Moto G10 and Moto G30. Now, they're both quite uh, cheap and cheery phones, like mm -hmm. Moto G phones always are. So they're both quite similar in terms of specs. They've got 6.5-inch screens. They've got four rear cameras each. They've got middling specs. They're what you get if you're looking for something that will do the job, but you're not looking for something to blow you away. Uh, sure. They follow on from the Moto G9 series, which started coming out at the end of 2020 and has been slowly coming out up until now. But obviously there are no more G9s because G10 is here. Fair enough, fair enough. And you're right, they're, they're sort of at that lower price point, £129 for the G10, £159 for the G30. Am I getting those names? I'm getting those names. That right is now. correct, yeah. yeah. And even for Moto G prices, those are quite low. Those are probably the lowest cost Moto G phones we'll see this year. Exactly, exactly. And so what's the difference then between the 10 and the 30, the G10 and the G30? Because there's such a small price difference there, really. Very little, really. Uh, the Moto G30 has a slightly higher res main camera. It's got a better chipset. And off the top of my head, that's all I can think. There's mm. very little between them. And uh, unless you think the small differences will mean a lot to you, you might as well stick with the G10, really. Yeah, absolutely. So so then the G10 and the G30 are coming. Like you said, the G9 was sort of late last year and, and so hasn't really had that much of a life cycle before the G10s arrived. Are we expecting any more Motorola phones throughout the year and, and could these become maybe not obsolete, yeah. but could they be followed up by more Motorola phones later on in the year? Well, that is the big news here is that normally each generation will have Moto G7, 8, 9, a number, and it will come with variations like the G8 Power, which has a big battery, the G8 Play, which is a budget one. So it seems I've issued that uh, system now to have a different one. By the sounds of it, they're going the way that Samsung did with their Galaxy A phones and having them over a broad spectrum from G10, right at the lower end, to G30 is a bit better, but we don't know where that could go. It could go to 80, 90, 100, it could go all the way up. So we're seeing the the very first inkling of a new kind of generation of Moto G phones where Motorola has kind of rethunk how it does its phones. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. So I'm curious then, what are the what are the features maybe that we're missing in these budget handsets that you might like to see that Motorola introduces in maybe some of those higher spec handsets that are coming down the line? Oh, well, uh, we have heard different rumors around the phones, uh, the, the phones conversation, like nothing has been confirmed by Motorola right now, mm. but it does seem like the company is working on high uh, megapixel counts in its cameras, bigger screens. We've seen some features of Moto G9 phones that are not in the G10 and G30, like side mounted fingerprint sensors, high refresh rates that we could see come to the Moto G uh, new wave. And also the big thing people are probably hoping for is 5G. We've had a few Moto G 5G phones now, but the G10 and G30 aren't. So they are hopefully coming some way down the line. Interesting, interesting. And I suppose 5G, maybe if you're looking on this sort of budget end of handsets, 5G probably isn't the feature that you're after right now, right? Uh, but you would assume that it would come later on. Yeah, there is probably some people that want a cheap and cheery 5G phone because uh, 5G isn't just used for its fast connection, it's used for reliable connection too. And the Moto G 5G and Moto G 5G Plus, very big <laughs> tongue twisters, those are their um, current 5G phones in the Moto G range. They've seemed quite popular, so it seems there is an appetite for you know affordable 5G phones. Lots of other companies are putting them out too. So obviously these phones coming in at that lower price point, but perhaps not the lowest possible price point, right? Moto have some phones that are lower down than that. Yes, so uh, Motorola has had previously the Moto E series, which mm -hmm. does receive installments now and then. These are really cheap, affordable phones, uh, which are really good like for their price, but um, don't really have the draw of the Moto G series, at least in the public eye. Um, but Motorola has confirmed that for the time being, at least, the change in the Moto G series doesn't affect the E series. So we will still have the E7 phones coming out and hopefully soon the E8 series as well. Fantastic stuff. Well, we mentioned the price earlier on, but when can we expect to get our hands on these handsets? 
They are slowly rolling out across Europe over the coming weeks. So if you see the timestamp of this video, like depending on when you are from that, they might be available in your country. However, we've only heard about Europe at the moment. Mm -hmm. And so we could see releases in the US at some point in the future. However, previously Motorola has been a little bit confusing with its names and released the same phone under different names in different markets. So when it comes to the US, if it comes to the US, it could have a completely different name. So it's worth kind of looking out for that, comparing the specs to see if it is the Moto G10 under a different name. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Well, we'll be sure to keep you up to date with all the latest Moto news that's going on, whether or not these do come to the US. I'm sure we'll update you on that. And of course, you can head to techradar.com and see Tom's latest articles all about the Moto G phones. I'm assuming you're going to be reviewing them as well, Tom, at some point? Yes, yeah. Uh, hoping to get my hands on one of them very soon. Fantastic stuff indeed. I look forward to seeing what you have to say on it, Tom. I really do. Let us know down in the comments below if these sort of lower end price budget phones really do appeal to you. I'm genuinely curious. Do you need 5G in these phones though? Is that the deal breaker? Do you really want 5G in a budget handset? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please do drop a like, consider subscribing to TechRadar on YouTube. And finally, remember to head to techradar.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Tom, thanks for joining me and we will see Thank you on the next Thank you for having one. me on. Bye-bye.